In this video we will present the floral fill. This is a new fill type available in the array fill type. Floral fill is a special array fill type which automatically creates impressive floral designs by using your own flowers to fill the array. Let's see how it works. Suppose that we have this flower and we want to use it to create a floral fill on this ellipse shape. First we want to select the flower along with the ellipse. Now we can apply a rayon fill in various ways, using right click, a click on the array type or through the convert menu. Just open the convert menu and use fill from shapes option. The ellipse is now filled with a flower in a patterned way. The array on fill has many placement options which are presented in separate videos. For the purposes of this video, we will select floral fill. The ellipse is automatically filled with a unique pattern using the chosen flower. It is similar to the floral vine option. The main difference is that it fills the area with random branches without one main branch. This is really nice. Now let's have a look at the properties bar and see how we can customize it further. The offset option is common to all fill placements and expands or shrinks the fill in relation to the original shape. These properties actively affect floral fill placement. Most values of the parameters that you can adjust are in percentages. This means that the value is a percentage of the initial object size which was used to create the array fill. For example, if spacing value is set to 40%, the spacing between the objects will be 40% of the object's initial size. Using the rotation, the repeats are rotated clockwise or counterclockwise. You can specify the rotation of the repeats in percentage from 0 to 100, and all the repeats will be rotated in 15 degrees radius with 0% being the initial position and 100% being 15 degrees rotation from the initial position. The scale will scale the flowers again in relation to the initial size of the floral object. If you decrease the scale percentage value, the floral objects will be scaled down, so you will have more repeats and branches. Vice versa, if you increase the scale percentage value, the array objects will be scaled up and you will have less repeats and branches. The spacing parameter specifies the distance between the repeated objects within the array. Have in mind that the spacing cannot be absolute as the objects have different sizes and they have to fit in a specific enclosed shape. Using a starting width, you can specify the starting width of the stem. The default value is 20. Using ending width, you can specify the ending width of the stem. The default value for this one is 5. Using the minimum size, you can define the minimum size of the floral objects, whereas using the max size, you can define the maximum size of the floral objects. The software will start making copies in various sizes beginning from the minimum size and moving up gradually to the maximum size. Using the leaf size option, you can make leaves smaller or larger. Using flower spacing, you can specify the distance between the flowers in a scale from 1 to 10, with 1 being the closest and 10 being the furthest away. Again, the flower spacing cannot be absolute since the objects have different sizes and they have to fit in certain positions of the stem. Also have in mind that the distance between the flowers affects the number of flowers in the floral array. Finally, using the branch spacing, you can specify the distance between the branches. It takes values from 1 to 10, with 1 being the lowest, and increase of the distance leading to thicker branches. This is all about the available properties. Have in mind that when using separate two objects, it leads to everything becoming separate, so you then need to manage every object individually. You may easily change the flower or the leaf. Simply select the floral fill part along with a new leaf or flower, 
right click and use the add shape as leaf or the add shape as flower option from the array menu. Click and drag to define the size of the initial leaf or flower. Additionally, if you right click on the floral fill part, choose array and choose edit floral option, you may select flower or leaf from a selection of predefined leaves and flowers. The starting point of the floral can be easily changed. Start the stitch flow tool and click on the flora part. The point that you click on is the new starting point of the stem. You may add more points where you want the stem to pass from. In this way, you can literally set the path along which the floral design is to be created.